Hey guys, here we are again, and this time I'm gonna be showing you your final cooking test for this semester. So I'm gonna do a quick review so that you can go ahead and move on with this, and then I'm gonna get you started. Okay, the first thing is I wanted to review what we've been calling the lean dough or the hand dough recipe. So here's my goofy hand. And so when we are doing this, please remember that when you were making your regular dough, it was one cup of hot water, it was one tablespoon of yeast, which is the same as one package, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of oil, which is optional. You don't need to put that in if you don't want to. One teaspoon, that's the little guy, of salt. And then for our regular bread, it was two to three cups of flour and you added it a half a cup at a time until it came out the right way. So this was the, basically the recipe. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this, but we're gonna go backwards. Instead of starting with the water and adding flour until it's right, we're gonna start with the flour and add the other things, adding water until it's the right consistency. And we're gonna be careful because we don't wanna to add too much water. We don't want it to get um, sticky for us and you're gonna to have to, um, intentionally, I gave you enough flour to do this in your kit, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing is, oops, sorry. The first thing we're gonna do is, obviously I'm gonna wash my hands because I was just touching paper, um, and you're gonna get out the flour that you were using uh, for your pie crust, and with that, sorry, Hang on a second. Sorry. Sorry, adjusting my body here. Okay, so we're gonna take our, this is the flour that was left over. I took out my cup for my pie crust a couple weeks ago, and now I'm going to take the rest of it and just pour it all into my bowl. Now this is all the flour you have, so you're gonna be careful and not use all of the other ingredients quite yet. So, um, working the same way we did before, we're gonna go ahead and now put the stuff in um, into our bowl. So we're gonna go backwards. So instead of going, um, we're gonna go starting from here. So we started with the flour, now we're gonna go up and around and then over back over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add in a teaspoon of salt. Remember how we measure a teaspoon of salt? It's the little divity thing right there in the middle of your hand. Okay, there we go. So there's my teaspoon of salt, that goes in. Um, then. I'm going to go ahead and add in my sugar. My sugar is, I need a tablespoon. You would have gotten three packages. Each one of these packages is a teaspoon. Three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna dump my three packages of sugar in. The sugar, remember, helps to feed the yeast so that that way, and if it's a little bit clumpy, it's not a problem. It is not, it's gonna get all dissolved and be perfect, so anyway. So in goes the sugar. So once I got my sugar in, now I'm gonna put my yeast I gave you, um, like I said, this should be a tablespoon of yeast. It should be just the right amount that you need in here. So I measured that out. So go ahead and pour that in as well. So you've got your flour, your salt, your sugar, your yeast. You can put oil if you want, but today I'm not going to because I want to show you how this works. Now, the other day we were making um, we were making um, bread. Um, this time we're making uh, the pizza dough, which is going to be, you can also, if you want to make it into pizza, great. If you don't want to make it into pizza, you can just make it into pita dough. It's going to have um, a little bit different consistency. It's going to be chewier, not as fluffy as the bread we did the other day. So what I'm going to do now is I've got this, all my dry ingredients mixed. I'm going to start adding water and I'm going to stir it all in one direction. So it doesn't matter whether I go this way or this way, whether, um, but I'm going to choose a direction and just start adding it. Now I have one cup of hot water here but I'm not gonna use all that, but I'm just gonna mix it in a little at a time, mixing in the circle until it all comes together, okay? And as I said, you don't need to add any oil. You can if you want, but I'm not going to today. Um, the oil is pretty much for flavor, so, and again, I'm just going in the same direction, stirring it. It's still pretty dry. I'm gonna keep adding. It's gonna remind you sort of of the pie crust that you made, um, but it's got that yeast in it, and the water is going to activate that yeast. The yeast is going to start uh, eating that sugar, and when it starts getting sort of tough um, to mix, 
I'm going to move and I'm going to start mixing it with my fingers instead. So I just keep going. See, I've still got some dry spots down there, so I'm going to add a little bit more in there. But I don't expect I'm going to use all this water. The reason I have the one cup is for two reasons. One, so that I can keep sort of track of how much I'm using, but also so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. Once I get to this point, I want to push it together until it just is barely sticking together, just like our pie crust. So I want it so it just barely there. I need just a little bit more water. Very dry dough. It should not be at all sticky. If it's sticky, you've added too much water, and you don't want to do that. Because this one, I want it to be very elastic. Um, if you think about what pita is like, it's like a bubble. And so we are going to cook it very fast. While I was getting set up for my video today, I turned on my oven about as hot as it will go, a little over 500 degrees. Um, if you have a convection oven that you can turn um, the fan on, that would be great, but it doesn't need it. What I'm doing is this is now getting pretty hard to mix, and I want it to be hard to mix. I want it so that it's not sticky, and it's all together in a bowl. Um, and I'm gonna be tough with it because this is a lean dough, and as we remember from before, when it's lean, we get to be mean, right? It likes it to be treated mean, so it stretches that gluten. So I'm gonna stick this away. I'm just gonna put a couple things, and again, I didn't put any flour on my board. I don't wanna use any flour on my board. I want it so it just nice and stiff like this. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna divide this. Now, you have several options. You could right now roll this out and make one pretty large pizza. You could make two. You could roll it out, fill half of it, flip it over, seal it, and make a calzone. You can do all kinds of stuff, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna divide my dough into four pieces and show you some variations of things you can do with yours. And as I said, you can choose to do one, two, or three. So I'm gonna take a quick break right here. So that's how you mix, and I'll be right back to show you what to do. Okay, so here's part two. This is how we're gonna roll this out. So these are your options. So I have four pieces of dough. Um, so uh, the first thing I can do is, as I said, I can just roll this out to be just a plain, plain pita. And what I'm gonna do is roll it out as flat as I can. Now, when I talked about the oven being as hot, um, please keep in mind that the thicker your dough is, the, the lower the temperature and the longer the cooking time. Um, but since this is um, going to be very thin, you're going to make it as thin as you can um, to make it into your pita. So it's going to be, um, I can cook it very hot. And my hope is that when I'm cooking it, it's going to flip, flip up. So the first one I'm doing is just going to be a plain, just nothing with it. Now, pita bread works really well. I can eat it with um, vegetables. I can eat it with rice. I can eat it just by itself. It's just good the way it is, and hopefully it will puff up and be pocket bread. I'll talk more about that in a bit. I'm just gonna put it on a plain cookie sheet. The second one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a variation of the pita bread. But, um, so what I'm gonna do right now is, you saw how I rolled it out. I'm gonna roll all of them out, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna decorate them in just a second. Okay, here we're back. I have gotten all four of them rolled out. They don't have to be perfect circles. They just need to get rolled out so you can use them. Um, the first one, I'm just going to leave blank so you can see what that's like. The second one, I am going to um, put some olive oil on here. I'm just going to roll it around with my hands a little bit. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some, um, um, uh, just a little bit of um, granulated garlic, just so it has a little bit of flavor. I could put green onions, I could put regular onions, I could put cilantro, whatever. So those are gonna go in my 500 degree oven and I'm gonna let those start to cook. And as I said, my goal is to try to cook them as quick as I can. So I want the hottest oven I can and I'm just gonna watch. Um, while those are starting to cook, I'm gonna take these and make these into little pizzas. You get to choose what you do with your dough. If you wanna make, as I said, one, two, three, four, however many you want, if you wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and roll this over and make, we, remember we call this crimping on the edge of our crust here. I'm just gonna make a little kind of pizza. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna ask you, that I'm asking you to do as well as one, to make your pizza or your pita lab, but I'm also gonna ask that you, real, uh, that you do a plan that if you could put anything you wanted on your pizza, what would you put on it? Um, 
keep in mind that pizza is one of those dishes that uses all of the food groups on the my plate so you can put your own kind of um, fruits and vegetables and all kinds of stuff and people go fruits and vegetables but there's a lot of fruits that we use on pizza that we forget about for example even tomato sauce itself is a fruit because tomatoes have seeds of them we know from a vegetable unit that they have so I'm gonna on this one I'm just gonna put some tomato sauce you could also put tomatoes um, I'm gonna put some sun-dried tomatoes on my other one you could put pineapple you can put peppers those are also fruit you can put black olives regular olive I mean green olives anything you want so I'm gonna put some sauce on this guy um, I am going to also when it talks about vegetables a lot of times people want to put spinach if you're gonna put spinach put way more than you think because the spinach is going to um, it's going to shrink and this is going to get to be probably a fourth of its size so right now it might look like a lot of spinach I would um, I've sometimes put like a big mound of pizza of spinach and it still it works well to put that much on I'm gonna put some cilantro and onions just cuz why not I'm gonna just put some some vegetables on here and and then I'm gonna to top it with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese okay now obviously I could put for meats and proteins I could put beans I can put nuts I can put um, if I want to make a sauce out of ground up cashews I can if I want to use my daughter used to always use peanut butter on hers um, the second one I'm gonna make it even more simple I am just going to go ahead and put some olive oil um, so I've had people be really successful with, I'm going to put a little bit more of my, my cheese on here. And on this one, I'm going to put some sun-dried tomatoes. And so these are just sun-dried, again, like we talked about, just some sun-dried tomatoes, just to add some variety and some interest to my pizza. You, the cool thing about pizza, just like any other kind of pie remember that pizza and pie mean the same thing that any time that you make a pie they're all got all kinds of fun we can put pretty much whatever you want I want to put a little bit more of this cilantro just because I like the color and I like cilantro just to put some on there so we're gonna cook those um, once we have those all arranged and you've got them the way you want um, whether it's plain pita or pita with something small or if you want to top it like a pizza you can do it however you want so these guys are going to be in the oven and in just a minute you're going to see the end result <laughs> 